This video will demonstrate the process of making a basic Sweetlink connection from TopServer 5 to Wonderware System Platform using the Sweetlink DI object. In this example, we will use the simulation project that installs with TopServer. In order for the TopServer to allow Sweetlink connections, the Wonderware common components must be installed on the machine before the TopServer software. The common components can be installed from the Wonderware Factory Suite I.O. Server Installation CD. In many existing installations, the necessary files will be present already. However, this may not be the case if the system platform resides on a remote machine. When running the top server installer, it is necessary to select the Sweetlink interface to be installed under Native Client Interfaces in the Select Features window. Once the top server is successfully installed, we will launch the configuration window and check to make sure the Sweetlink interface installed properly. To do this, click File Project Properties and navigate to the FastDDE Sweetlink tab. Make sure FastDDE Sweetlink connections to the server are enabled. If you do not see this tab in the Project Properties, you will need to go back and ensure the native client interface and Wonderware Common Components were installed successfully. Each time a channel, device, or tag group is created in the top server configuration, an auto-generated alias is mapped to this location in the alias map. You may also create your own alias mapped to a channel, device, or group. Aliases are necessary in the top server because Wonderware does not recognize the channel name that device name syntax in the topic name. If you are familiar with setting up topic names in other DDE servers, Setting up an alias name in the top server is our equivalent of that step in the setup process. To do this in the top server, click on Edit Alias Map. Enabling Show Auto-Generated Aliases will display any aliases configured automatically that correspond to your channel names, device names, and group names, each separated by underscores. To create your own alias, click on the icon in the upper left corner of the Alias Map dialog and add an alias that maps your channel name dot device name to a single word topic name without any spaces or punctuation. This alias name will be used as the topic name when configuring system platform. In this example, we will create an alias named test topic that maps to channel one dot device one in the top server. You can create as many aliases as you like that point to the same or different combinations of a channel device and group name. Let's continue by launching a newly created Galaxy in the Orchestra IDE. Refer to your Wonderware documentation on how to create a new system platform Galaxy. For this example, we will be using the deployment view in our sample Galaxy. The first step in configuring a new project begins with the system object in the template toolbox. Expand the system object and highlight the Win Platform template object. Drag and drop the Win Platform template object under the Galaxy in the deployment view. This example will use the default names, but you can name these objects as needed for your project. Next, we will need to create an App Engine system object. To do so, drag and drop the App Engine template object under the unassigned host folder. Lastly, create an area system object by dragging and dropping the area template object under the unassigned host folder in the deployment view. Refer to your Wonderware documentation for a better understanding of how these logical objects behave and how to best name them for your system. The app engine object can now be assigned under the win platform object and the area object can be assigned under the app engine object. Now that all of the system objects are created and assigned, we can configure our DI object or device integration object. Begin by selecting the template object from the device integration section of the template toolbox. We will select the DDE Sweetlink client object template because we are making a Sweetlink connection to the top server. Drag and drop the DDE Sweetlink client template object to the unassigned host folder in the deployment view to create the DI object. Double click the DDE Sweetlink client object under the unassigned host to open the object properties to the right of the template toolbox. 
If the top server and system platform are located on the same PC, leave the server node blank. If not, click on the ellipses button to the right of the server node text field to open the browse node dialog box. Select the domain of the computer node where the top server is installed to display a list of available nodes. Highlight the appropriate node name and select OK. Next, enter server underscore runtime into the server name field. This instructs the DI object to make a connection to the top server. Also, select SuiteLink as the communication protocol. Next, click on the Topic tab. Click on the Add icon and enter the appropriate topic name from the top server. When done, click the icon to save and close the DI object. Once the DI object is saved, it can be assigned under the App Engine object. In order to make a connection to the top server, the final object needed is an application object. We will use the analog device application template object because we will be connecting to a tag in the top server with an integer data type. For more information on application objects, please reference your Wonderware documentation. Drag and drop the analog device application object under the unassigned host folder. Double click the analog device object to open the properties dialog. An item must be assigned to the object. This assignment is made by entering the full path, including the topic name and item name, in the PV input source field. If you do not know the topic name, you can click on the ellipses button to launch the attribute browser. Items added to the scan group under the client object can be browsed to and selected. To do so, Select the DDE SuiteLink client object. The list of all attributes for this object will be shown if the Show All Attributes box is checked. Highlight the desired attribute and click OK. If actual PLC tags or addresses were created as attributes in the DI object, these items would be listed as well. Next, highlight the text after the topic name and replace it with the item name. The item name can either be an actual tag name configured in the top server, or a PLC address that is passed down in the item name. If using a device address, the format should be device address at data type, where the at data type is an optional appendage. If not specified, the default data type for the device address will be used. For our example, we will use testtopic.tag1. If we were using a dynamic address, we would enter testtopic.tag1 r0001 at word, where r0001 designates the address in the PLC and at word specifies the desired data type. Click on the icon to save and close the application object. You will be prompted to check in the changes by clicking OK. The analog device object can now be assigned to the area system object in the deployment view. To do so, drag and drop the analog device object from the unassigned host folder under the area object. Now that all objects have been created and assigned, the next step is to deploy the Galaxy. To do so, right-click on the Win Platform object in the deployment view and select Deploy. This will open the Deploy dialog box. Leaving the default settings selected will deploy all objects configured. Click OK to begin the deployment process. Once the deployment process is complete, click Close. You can now view the live data by opening the System Platform Object Viewer. Highlight the integer object in the deployment view and navigate to the Object menu of the Orchestra IDE interface. Select View an Object Viewer to open the Object Viewer and see the present value and quality of the item. To subscribe to Changing Values, right-click on the attribute and select Add to Watch. This adds the attribute to the watch window located at the bottom of the interface. This concludes our demonstration on making a basic SuiteLink connection from Top Server 5 to Wonderware System Platform. As always, our support team is available to help you every step of the way. If you find you have questions or need any assistance, please do not hesitate to contact us.